Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. I have Montgrave Van der France Sasso Rosé here, uh, 2013, and um, I, I can't remember trying this wine before. I've had, Montgrave have been, have been doing some really good uh, uh, Cabernet Merlot blends, or is it Merlot Cabernet blends, which are uh, very sensibly priced. This is a similar thing, about six quid. Um, so uh, let's see how we fare with it. Salsa is one of the main ingredients for uh, the Provence Rosé. So, I mean, they, they have other grapes there, uh, but uh, it's certainly one of the ones that, it, that is used quite extensively. Uh, so it may be that there is some Provence, Provençal Sanso in there with uh, maybe some stuff from, from elsewhere. And in, in, in Provence style, it's on that slightly shy, backward character, uh, and not one of those rosés that jumps out and goes, pick me, pick me, pick me. Uh, so I like its gentle strawberry sandiness. I almost want to turn the volume up a little bit though, but let's see when I taste it. Actually, I'll take that back. I don't need to turn the volume up. I think that they've uh, done it rather nicely there. Gentle strawberry, there's a plushness, there's, and it's fresh strawberry with a little bit of tinned strawberry and the juice uh, or the ooze that you get if you put them some chopped strawberries in a pan with a little dollop of sugar and let it cook for about half a minute or so. That, that strawberry ooze. Um, feels like maybe they've got some residual sugar there, which I'm not sure if they need. Uh, but um, it's uh, yes, it's, it's fuller bodied and, full, and fuller and fleshy than I expected from the aromas, but um, uh, quite nice. Not great, but quite nice. I would very happily drink rather a lot of that on a summer day. So maybe I'll go and do that. See you soon. <laughs>